going on, everybody? But, hang on. Now we can begin FAQ Mondays. It's hot. And I hope you all are staying cool because right now in the studio, it's mm, right around 95 degrees. And I know what you're thinking. Why don't you go film it somewhere else? Well, I don't want to. And my Elysian beer is uh, gonna keep me nice and cool while we go over some questions. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First question. Is there anywhere I can purchase your Rift Beards and Gear Guitar picks? Um, not quite yet. The picks that I have and the picks that you've seen and the picks that I've given out at NAMM and if you see me in person or, you know, see me in a movie theater or something like that, then I'll probably have picks on me and I will give you a few, but I cannot actually sell them because they were kind of a gift from Dunlop. But I am working on, you know, one or two t-shirts and um, I'm gonna have some pick tins, some custom Dunlop pick tins that you can buy and it'll be like, you know, this cool tin with the bobblehead on it and it's gonna have like 10 picks and it's, you know, it's gonna be awesome. Um, merch is coming though. Merch is definitely coming. I hear a lot of inflames in your playing. Do they happen to be an influence? Actually, not really. Um, I've only started listening to In Flames in the last few years and that was well after I've kind of developed my own style. I do also hear a lot of similarities and I think maybe we just, we've listened to the same bands or something like that. But I love In Flames and I think, you know, the riffs and the songwriting and the melodies are really, really brilliant. Um, Clayman and uh, Sounds of an Underground Fading, I think it's called. Anyway. Uh, there's a few really, really classic albums that they have in the repertoire, and um, I really need to go to see them live because I've never seen them live, and I missed the chance last time they came into town opening for Lamb of God. It's just, it uh, hasn't happened yet, but I do plan on checking them out live. Yes, In Flames. If you haven't heard of In Flames, please go check them out. They're awesome. Hi, Fluff. I'd like to buy a pair of monitors on a budget around $300. Should I save some money and buy something more expensive, or is there anything good on that budget? Actually, I'm about to do like a little bit of a traditional video review on them, but you can see this guy right here, the reveal series, the retooled and reworked uh, re reveal series from Tannoy are awesome, awesome bang for the buck. Um, there's the 402, the 502, and the 802, and the first digit of those designates the size of the speaker. Now, I am really, really liking the 802s. Um, they're right around your budget. Um, they're tight. They're much, much better than something like a KRK, uh, much less money. And uh, they're forward ported, and there's a few other cool little features that I think you guys would really like about them. I will go over the 502 and the 802 in the video, but I highly recommend you check out any of the reveal series from Tannoy. This week's suggestion, I suggest you check out the brand new Polytune headstock tuner from TC Electronic. This thing, is amazing. I, I saw a picture of it on TC Electronics Instagram and I simply commented, holy crap, uh, I gotta get to me one of those. And they said, can't we send you one to check out? We'd love your thoughts on it. And I have to say as uh, headstock tuners go, uh, this is king. Um, you can flip it either way, the orientation moves with the tuner and you can tune all the strings at once and it has all the features of the pedals, but in a nice compact headstock tuner. Super awesome. Check it out. You will not regret it worth every penny. I have been Fluff. You have been wonderful. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Check, Micah, check. Check, one, two. Check, check. What are you supposed to check for? I don't even know. It's hot.